Thousands of children returned to school this week around the world with their school bags loaded with books, geometry sets and for most face masks to protect them from the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Hand cleansing stations, social distancing and staggered playtime have become the new normal as countries across Europe seek ways to get children back into the classrooms safely. But they do so at a time when infection rates are spiraling upwards across the world. There are widespread concerns that the return to school amid the autumn flu season and the increase in cases in winter could drive a second wave. Countries are taking different approaches to minimize contagion in schools. In France, students aged over 11 must wear face masks at all times, including indoors as well. Schools must limit the mixing of class groups and ventilate and disinfect classrooms regularly. Alors moi c'est vrai que j'ai donné des recommandations à ma fille, euh, elle a 9 ans, euh, à savoir d'essayer de ne pas trop se coller euh, auprès de ses camarades, de se laver régulièrement les mains et de ne pas mettre les mains au visage. Euh, Elle-même, je lui ai également laissé le choix et mis dans son sac deux masques, à savoir si elle veut les mettre et si elle est trop anxieuse, euh, qu'elle puisse les mettre, euh, voilà. School attendance in France is mandatory. Though schools can adapt to a surge in local coronavirus infections by, for example, limiting attendance for a few days or weeks, in the event of a major regional outbreak, schools can close temporarily. In kindergarten, children within the same class group need not observe social distancing. Primary schools can split up classes into groups of 8 to 15 pupils who alternate between half days in class and learning from home. At secondary schools, all students need to attend school at least few days a week. France's new COVID-19 in Infections surged by almost 50% in August, which recorded the highest monthly tally since the beginning of the outbreak earlier this year, while hospitalizations for the disease seem to be creeping up again. Je suis content de revoir tous mes potes et enfin de revenir au travail. Non, je pense que c'est bien qu'ils reprennent malgré les conditions sanitaires particulières, bien sûr, mais. Essayer de reprendre un rythme normal, une vie normale et puis euh, apprendre à vivre dans ce contexte. Spain's 17 regions are responsible for their own back-to-school plan, though they must follow national regulations such as mandatory masks for children over six. Ellos tienen que estar seguros de que aquí su niño va a estar bien. Porque se ha hecho todo lo posible, se está haciendo y se hará, seguiremos en ello. Eh, todo el mundo empezando por nosotros con las mascarillas puestas, con nuestra distancia, hemos trabajado así, ¿no? Para cubrirnos también nosotros, ¿no? En, en el trabajo. In Russia, pupils returned as the country's coronavirus case tally exceeded 1 million. Children were seen being welcomed in schools with flowers and balloons, while families anxiously looked on as their children entered the school. <laughs> Учебный год начинается в традиционном режиме. Абсолютно все преподаватели, воспитатели, сотрудники школы прошли тестирование ИХА и здоровы, готовы работать с детьми. In Cuba, thousands of students returned to classrooms as quarantine restrictions eased in the country. Hand sanitizers and face masks have Topped back to school lists, schools in cities like uh, Kamague and Las Tunas have been given the green light to restart the school year. For students, they were happy to see their friends again after a long period of self isolation or isolation with families and social distancing. Students have been told to wear face masks on school grounds, mingle with friends at a safe distance, and those with any symptoms of the virus will not be allowed to enter schools. And as for the kids, they can't wait to get back to schools to study and to meet their friends. Sí, yo estoy muy contenta porque después de tanto tiempo de aislamiento puedo ver a mis amiguitos y a la profe.